All right, let's talk about Control, Shift, and Alt on ZBrush for iPad. Um, you might kind of feel like a, a duck out of water saying, hey, I, I don't feel comfortable if I don't have Alt, Shift, and Control because that's all my navigation. Well, actually, you do have it right here on this thing. Okay, on this thing right here. So I can touch the middle and I can kind of reposition that for my thumb. And by the way, I'm just going to show this real quick. If you go to the gear at the upper right-hand corner, and if you go to UI, you can switch to left-handed mode. And now you can see that um, all of your tools are here and you could easily bring this over here, okay? Uh, so if you're left-handed. I'm gonna put this back over here, switch this back to right-handed. And now again, I'm holding this with my left hand or my left thumb. Now, this up here is shift, okay? So you can see that because if I go over this, I can see it's smoothing it out. This is control. I can see that because if I drag, I'm making a mask. I can drag on nothing to clear the mask. And this is alt. And I can see that because this is actually Z sub or Z add. Okay. I, and by the way, this is undo right here. So I feel like I've, I have shift, control, and alt all in this thing. This one's the, a shortcut quick menu. I'll do a different video on that. But again, you have control, shift, and alt. By the way, if I'm also rotating around and press my shift, you can see it zaps through the or orthographic view just like it does in the um, desktop version. I can also do this. If I'm moving around holding control, or I'm sorry, alt, the bottom one, then let up, you can see I can zoom in like that. So you can still use exactly the same navigational controls that you're used to if you want. In fact, it is kind of nice to do that when you're using the pencil instead of touching like this. I know touching is really uh, convenient and awesome, but sometimes it kind of slows you down because you have to kind of stop using the pencil and then you have to kind of touch the screen. But if you want to use that, you're welcome to. Um, so again, really cool. So shift, control, Alt, and you'll also notice that if I press Control, I can see it switches on the bottom. What's you know my masking here? It switches to my different smoothing tools. So again, really really cool. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about ZBrush on iPad. I'm a big fan of it. I, I'm just loving it so far. So um, yeah, awesome. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video.